Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today, we are making these awesome crochet snowballs. These snowballs are so squishy and soft. They are safe to throw inside the house. They don't break anything. If you make them with a smaller hook, they're a little more firm and smaller. So the bigger and fluffier, the safer they are for an indoor snowball fight. They look super great in a basket, all stacked up and ready for fun. Another great thing about this pattern is all you need is yarn and a crochet hook. There is no stuffing, it is just crochet all the way through, so you don't have to have any extra fancy supplies. You can just make it with what you have at home. These can be made in different sizes by using a bigger yarn or a bigger hook all the way down. So this is a four millimeter, a five millimeter, and a six millimeter crochet hook, all with the same size of yarn. I just used a regular four weight worsted acrylic or a 10 ply if you are in Australia. Any sort of craft acrylic yarn will be fine. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using different colored yarn so you can see the different layers we're working on. Sometimes with white yarn, it's a bit difficult to see the stitches on camera, so I'm just going to be using colored yarn for the tutorial. But for you to make a snowball, you'll just be using white yarn for all of the layers. You're also welcome to do one layer in yellow yarn if you want a little bit of yellow snow in your snowballs. And yes, if you'd like to follow along with a written pattern, they're available over on my website, secretyarnery.com. And you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there right beside you. You will need a six millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a needle for sewing in some of your ends. Here are the time steps so you can jump back in to where you left off and let's get started. To start layer one, or your bottom bun, we're going to leave a tail, about a five inch tail. So make your slip knot, shrink that on to your hook, and chain three. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna go into that very first chain we made right here, and just put that onto your hook. And we want to be making a U-shape underneath our hook. Just like that, a little U-shape. And hold that open with your finger and thumb. Get your tail out of the way. We're not going to be working over it. And slip stitch to form a ring. Don't let go. And chain three. One, two, and three. And into the center of that ring, not going over our tail, we're going to make 11 double crochets. So our chain counts as our first double crochet, and we're gonna make 11, so we want a total of 12, including our chain. So one, two, three, four. You can pause the video and get your 12 double crochets made, including your chain. So there is my 12 double crochets. We're gonna slip stitch into the top of the chain to join. So you wanna slip stitch right there, two strands of that chain on the top of your hook. So slip stitch to join and chain three. One, two, and three. Now into the very same stitch right here, that little hole, we're gonna go right into that same spot and make one double crochet. Same spot that we made our chain. And now our next stitch is right here. That loop in front and the stitch behind, or that loop behind, that is our next stitch. I'm gonna do two double crochets into that next stitch. One, and two, and two double crochets into each stitch all the way around our circle. So two double crochets into the next stitch. One, and two, and two into the next stitch. So you can pause the video and keep working along. Two double crochets into each stitch, all the way around our circle. You'll end up with 24 double crochets. So I'll meet you when you've made your 24 double crochets and you are right over here. 
Are you enjoying this tutorial? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more quick and easy fun tutorials just like this. When you get back to where we started, we're going to slip stitch again to the top of our chain, two strands of that chain on the top of our hook, slip stitch to join, and chain three. One, two, and three. Now into the next stitch right here, we're going to do one double crochet. So into the next stitch, one double crochet, chain one, and now one double crochet into the next two stitches. So one double crochet, one double crochet. So we're doing pairs of double crochet for this round. So there is one and two and chain one. So we're going to do that again, double crochet, double crochet, and chain one. So double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and chain one. So we're just building these little windows all the way around for this row, or for this round. So you can pause the video, keep working along. Two double crochets, one into each stitch, and a chain one. All the way around, and I will meet you when we get back to where we started, right here. So there we are back where we started, and you can see those little chain spaces we have made for this round. So pairs of double crochets with a space in between. And there's also the chain one after my last double crochet right there. So we're going to slip stitch into the top of our chain two strands of the chain on the top of our hook. So slip stitch and chain one to secure your yarn. Now we want to leave a bit of a longer tail because this is how we're going to form the ball on one side. So maybe about 12 or 14 inches of yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Now we have two tails for the bottom layer or the bottom bun and we want to keep both of these tails. So these tails we are not sewing in or doing anything. We need them for finishing. So that finishes the bottom layer or the bottom bun. To start your second layer or your bottom filling, get your yarn. We just need a short tail for this. We're just going to work over it and cut it off. So just one or two inches. Make a slip knot. Shrink that down and pop it onto your hook and chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And we want to slip stitch into our very first chain we made to join. So we want to slip stitch right there to join. So pop your hook in. We're going to work over our tail for this, this round, so slip stitch to join, hold your tail along your work, chain three, one, two, three, that counts as our first double crochet. Wrap your yarn and make 23 double crochets into the center of the ring going over your tail. So that is three, including my chain. Including your chain, we're going to have 24. So one, two, three, including your chain, and you can pause the video and keep working along until you have made 24, including your chain. So there is my 24 double crochets. Again, we're going to slip stitch into the top of our chain to join two strands of the chain on the top of our hook. Just pop your hook in and slip stitch to join and chain three. One, two, and three. Now into our next stitch, which is right there, we are going to make one double crochet, chain one, and into the next stitch, one double crochet, and into the next stitch, one double crochet. So for our filling layers or our center layers, we are going to be building these sets. So two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. That is our new set. 
So take your bottom bun and turn it over. So we want our macaroni facing up. Looks like just macaroni in a pot. The good side looks like penne pasta, all behaving and laying nicely side by side. We want a macaroni up or the pretty side facing down. And look for any of these chain one spaces. It doesn't matter which one. Just pop your hook in and slip stitch. So bring your yarn back, turn and bring your yarn through. Now just let that bottom bun hang down. We don't have to hold it or anything like that. And now into the next four stitches, we're gonna do two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. So into the next stitch, one double crochet, and into the next stitch, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So there is one and two. So there's another one of those sets, two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. Just lay it on top of your bottom bun and you'll see we're gonna be skipping a chain one space, skipping this guy and working in to the second. So slip stitch into the second space and then do it again into the ring we're working on. So two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. There's two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. One into each stitch like that. So there's our next set. Skip one of those spaces in your bottom bun and into the second, we are going to slip stitch. Now just letting that hang down, just working into our ring, two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. So there's my two double crochets, chaining one and two double crochets. Just into this second layer that we're working on. Now we can line it all up again and you'll see we're skipping one space and working in to the second. So into the second space, slip stitch to join, and then working back into our ring, two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. So your double crochets, one into each stitch. So there is my two double crochets and chain one, and now two more double crochets, one into each stitch. I just want to be doing those sets. So there is another set, two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. So skip a space on your bottom layer and into the second space we are going to slip stitch. Now we have four stitches left. If you have five stitches or less stitches, don't worry about it. Nobody's actually gonna be seeing this row. Just make sure you finish with a set that looks like two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. Even if you fudge a little bit, no one's gonna see it. So there's one double crochet and a second double crochet. Chaining one and one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So it looks like that. Now, skipping a space on the back or the bottom bun, skip a space, we're gonna work in to the second with a slip stitch. And now we're gonna slip stitch straight into our chain right here. So pop your hook in, two strands of that chain on the top of your hook and slip stitch to join and chain one. Now we don't need a very long tail, just maybe three or four inches. Now pull your hook up and your yarn through, snug that down to secure, and now we have to sew in our tail. We have to do that for each of our layers, our center layers. So not the bottom bun and not the top bun, but the center layers we have to sew in this tail. So I just put my fingers underneath that layer. We don't want to sew our layers together. We need them to be separate. So just put your fingers underneath and then slide your sharp tip needle all the way down into that center area. 
and pull it through. If you are using a blunt tip needle, you might want to sew it in back and forth a little bit more down in this fat part. But sharp tip needles really, they're very secure. So trim that off and that finishes layer number two. Layer number three, or our center filling, we're doing the same row again, the same round. So we're gonna start with just a short little tail because we're gonna be working over it. So one or two inches of a tail. Shrinking that down and popping it onto your hook and chaining 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Now we're gonna slip stitch right into that very first chain we made. So just pop your hook in and we're gonna slip stitch, also working over our tail. So we can just hold our tail down along with that chain we made. Slip stitch to form a ring and chain three. One, two, and three. Now into the ring, going over your tail, we're gonna make 23 double crochets, which equals 24 double crochets if we count our chain. So pause the video and make your 23 double crochets, 24 including your chain, and I'll meet you back. When you've made your 24 double crochets, we're gonna slip stitch to the top of our chain. It's the top of that chain three, and we want two strands on the top of our hook. So pop your hook in and slip stitch to join, and chain three. One, two, and three. Into this next stitch, Right there, we are going to do one double crochet. So wrap your yarn and into the next stitch, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So one double crochet, and a second double crochet into that next stitch. Just like that. So now grab your stack, Find any chain one space, it doesn't matter which one, and slip stitch into that space to join. Wrap your yarn and into the next four stitches, we're gonna do two double crochets, a chain one, and two double crochets. So there it's one, two, chain one, and one, and two. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Now it's a lot easier because we just have these loose chain one spaces right there. So we're just gonna look for the next loose chain one space and slip stitch. And then into the next four stitches, two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. So one double crochet into each stitch with a chain one in between the pairs. Now you can slow me down or speed me up. Just hit that gear on the screen and adjust the speed. You can also just pause the video and get caught up if I'm going too fast. So into the next loose chain one space, slip stitch to join. Just drop all those layers and just work into that circle that we're working on, the third layer. So two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. There, just like that. So there's our set again, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Look for the next loose chain one space, slip stitch to join, and make another set. So two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. There's two double crochets and a chain one. Need two more double crochets, one, and two. Look for that next loose chain one space right there and slip stitch to join. And then into our last four stitches, we're gonna do our last set. So two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. There's two double crochets, my chain one and two more double crochets. So there we are, that's what it looks like. It looks like we ran out of room or there's not enough to join. 
but we're going to join right there. So the next loose chain one space, just slide your hook in and slip stitch to join, and then slip stitch to the top of your chain to finish off the round. So pop your hook in, two strands of that chain on the top of your hook, and slip stitch to join. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving just a few inches to sew in with a needle. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Thread your needle. I like to do my tails, my center layer tails as I go so that we don't, they don't get stuck to each other. It's still when I can put my fingers underneath that layer to make sure I don't stitch it down and attach it where it shouldn't be attached. So just sew in that tail. And snip it off. So now we're going to do this round again. It's going to be exactly the same. I'm using a different colored yarn just so you can see which the different layers, but yours will be the same color, obviously. So slip knot, just one or two inches of a tail. We're going to work over it and cut it off and chain 12. One, two, three, 10, 11, and 12. And we're going to slip stitch right into that first chain we made to make a ring. Just pop your hook in and we're going to work over our tail so we can hold our tail along with our chain. Slip stitch to form a ring and chain three. One, two, and three. Now into the center of that ring, working over our tail, 23 double crochets. So it's going to be 24 counting that chain. So one, two, you can pause the video and keep making your double crochets until you have your 24, including your chain. So there is my 24 double crochets. Slip stitching right into the top of that chain. Two strands of the chain on the top of your hook. Slip stitch to join and chain three. One, two, and three. Into this next stitch right there, we are going to do our first real double crochet, but of course our chain counts as our first double crochet. So a real double crochet into the next stitch, that counts as two. We're going to chain one, we've got to build our set, and two double crochets, so one into each stitch. Just like that. Now get your stack your growing stack. Again, just look for any space. It doesn't matter which one. Go in and slip stitch to join. And then into the next four stitches, you're going to do a set. So two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. So there's one, two, chain one. And I'm just letting that stack hang or resting it on my work surface. So there is our set. Get everything looking nice. Look for the next empty chain one space right here and slip stitch to join. So you can pause the video and keep working along just like we did for the last layer all the way around and I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. So there we are after our last set right there. We're going to slip stitch into the last empty space. So slip stitch to join and slip stitch again to join. So right into the top of that chain, two strands on your hook, just like that, and chain one to secure your yarn. Now we're going to cut our yarn long enough tail just to sew down into the center. So just a few inches, pull your hook up and snug that down and thread your needle. We've got to sew in that tail. Just like that and snip it off. And there's our bottom bun and our three center layers. And now we are ready for our top layer. To do our top bun, we are gonna be doing a solid center like our bottom bun. So we also need a longer tail because we're gonna be knotting these two together. So let me get that tail out. We want the same amount of yarn on the other side, just we're gonna knot those together. So just maybe four inches or so. Make a slip knot, shrink that down and pop it onto your hook and chain three. One, 
two, and three. Into the very first chain right here, we are going to slip stitch to join. So pop your hook in, get rid of that tail. We're not gonna be working over it. Get that nice little U shape underneath your hook. Hold it open with your finger and thumb and slip stitch. Don't let go, keep holding it open and chain three. One, two, and three. Now into the center of that ring, we are going to do 11 double crochets. There is one. Now we can let go. That double crochet is going to hold it open. And our chain counts as our first double crochet. So this round ends up with 12 double crochets, including our chain. So pause the video and get your 12 double crochets made into the center of your ring, not going over your tail. So there's my 12 double crochets. Slip stitching to the top of that chain to join two strands on the top of your hook one slip stitch, and chaining three. One, two, and three. Now into the very same stitch, this little hole right here, see that one? That is where we're gonna be putting our first double crochet. So wrap your yarn and into that same stitch as our chain, one double crochet. And our next stitch is this little guy here. That is our next stitch. So into the next stitch, two double crochets. There we are. One and two. And now into each stitch all the way around, two double crochets into each. So you can pause the video and keep working around. Two double crochets into each stitch. You'll have a total of 24, and I'll meet you when you get back over here. So there's my 24 double crochets. We're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain to join, two strands on the top of your hook. Let's pop it in and slip stitch to join. Chain three, one, two, three, and into the next stitch, that guy right there, we're gonna make our first double crochet. So that counts as our first two double crochets because our chain counts as a stitch. Chain one and two more double crochets, one into each stitch. There, so there's our first set. Now the same as we've done before, we're just gonna bring it over, find a space, any of those loose chain one spaces, pop your hook in and slip stitch to join, and then build another set. We do have to knot these together. We have to knot the top bun and the bottom bun, but it gets a little trickier to work after that. So this is my, my trick how to get it e the easiest way. I just don't join it right in the beginning. So I made another set, two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. Finding the next space, that chain one space and slip stitching and then building another set, two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. So I'm just gonna work around until we get a little farther along and then we're going to join the top and bottom bun. There's the next chain one space. So slip stitch and then into the next stitches do another set so dub, two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. There's two, chaining one, and two more double crochets, one into each stitch. Just like that. I'm gonna slip stitch into the next loose space. And now I'm gonna pull up my yarn. You can do this at any time, but I've got about halfway, so that's good. Now my bottom tail, and my top tail, the center ones, I'm gonna knot these ones together. So knot them really, really tight. If you can look inside, see they're touching in there. So you want them all the way together. And if you're using acrylic yarn, you can really pull nice and snug. So give it a good triple knot. Nobody's gonna feel this knot. It's gonna be in the middle of your ball, so nobody's gonna feel it. So go ahead and trim those tails. And now we are ready to keep joining around the top, just like we have been. 
Martha, wrap your yarn, two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets into our top bun. Slip stitching into the space. And then finishing off, two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. One and two, chain one and two more double crochets to finish. One and two. Slip stitch into that last space and slip stitch to the top of our chain to join. Just like that. Chain one. And now we want to leave a bit of a longer tail. Pull your hook up and yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that finishes our five layers. So now we are ready to make our snowball. So to form your snowball, we have our two long tails left, one from our bottom bun and one from our top bun. Just thread whichever one is handy. We're gonna have to do it to both sides anyway. So thread your yarn needle. And we want to bring our tail over to the nearest loose chain one space. So just slide your needle in those stitches, just so it's coming out the center of that chain one space, whichever space is nearest. Give it a stretch, you don't wanna to be too tight. And then we're gonna stitch straight up into that same center of the chain and going into our loop. So we're gonna make a little knot just like that. We just want our yarn to be starting from the center of one of those chain one spaces. Now using the blunt end of your needle and going into the next loose space, we're just going from the center out. We're just gonna be threading our yarn through each of these chain one spaces. So going from the center and out from the center and out, from the center and out. And now using the sharp end of your needle, we are gonna be going back through that same chain area where we started. There's our starting yarn. We wanna go right back into the same spot. And now here is the magic. Ready? Just pull that yarn. Look at that, isn't that so cute? So cinch it up super tight. You'll have this cute little star or flower shape going on. And just sew in this tail, just a tiny bit around the center. We don't want it coming loose. We want our center to be really tight. So when it's pretty secure, you can just put your needle back through one of those loops to make a little tiny knot again. There we are and then straight back through all of your layers. We want it to come out the center bottom. Right there. So pull that up. And take your needle away. We're gonna thread the next outside tail. So we have our center tail and our last outside tail. They're on the same side. The other side is already half of a snowball. So thread your yarn. Find the nearest empty chain one spot or the next loose chain one spot and just sew your tail up into the center of that chain space. You don't want it too snug. And then straight through the chain. Just like that. So we get a little bit of a knot. Give that a pull. And now we are ready to do the same thing. So from the center going out, the next chain space, center going out, center going out, center going out, 
and center going out. Now with the sharp end of your needle, we want to go into that same area where we started. Just like that. We want to start and finish in the same spot. And now pull your yarn. Nice and snug. Now you can kind of massage it so it is around. Oh, it's so cute. You can sew in this tail a little bit, just a couple times maybe, so it doesn't just undo right away. There we go. And then knot these tails. So once, I don't pull it too tight, second time a bit more snug. If it doesn't slip, then you can really pull. Yeah, that's great. Now, just sew your tails in. So just out somewhere on the other side. It doesn't matter. Get that needle out and cut off that tail. And same with your last tail. Thread your needle. Right back down, right where that tail is. We don't want to be going anywhere else, but it can come out anywhere. Doesn't matter where it comes out. And pull it like that. And there is your adorable snowball. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there and stay hooked.